The Disciple is one of those sets that most players know a single part of, but have never really sought out or experienced the full set bonuses of. This is because one of the parts of it is infamous for being the best in slot for a lot of builds, at least outside of certain rare, crafted, or magic alternatives that are less common to come across. And I'm wagering most of you can guess what that part is by its lovely shade of blue. That's right, it's Laying of Hands. This is often used thanks to its increased attack speed since it can easily help you reach breakpoints, as well as the 350% enhanced damage to demons perk, which speeds up your ability to kill demon class enemies, which includes, but is not limited to, every act boss in the game. In addition to that, it does also pack some really nice boosts to fire resist as well as casting Holy Bolt on striking, which may not do a lot of damage, but it does become a little more useful for this pair of gloves in 2.4. That said, the gloves are far from the only useful part of the set, since even if they're not best in slot, the rest of the items do have their fair share of utility. For example, the belt credendum is a mithril coil, so it comes with the maximum number of belt slots possible, and it comes with some nice plus stats in the form of strength and dexterity, as well as a solid 15% resist all, which is pretty competitive for resist in the belt slot. While it won't beat out more specialized uses, there are a handful of builds where I do use this over other choices due to cap out my other necessary perks elsewhere and needing to round off the resist a bit and the belt is a good slot. Getting into a bit of the more mediocre slots, we have Rite of Passage, the Demon Hide Boots, which are fairly basic with faster run walk, a variable stamina boost, and some half freeze duration on there. Sadly, like the rest of the set, they don't get partial set bonuses unless you count the global bonuses, so these tend to be completely ignored unless you plan on running the full set. Even giving minor partial bonuses could definitely offset this a bit, but as of 2.4, they're still generally a pass. In the same boat is the armor, Dark Adherent, which does have an okay defense boost, gotta give it that, and it can go up to plus 415 defense at its peak. Since it's already in elite armor, this means that it doesn't have to worry about the percent increases, so that's okay in this case. As far as the rest of its stats, the Nova when struck is cute, but low level, the poison damage is similarly not impactful, though it does come with a bit of fire resist to stack on top of the fire resist already provided by the gloves. This sadly is not enough to push it further though, so like the boots, unless you're using the full set, this one's also going to usually be left behind. Last and far from least, because it's sort of the middle of the pack compared to the other parts, is Telling of Beads, the rarest set amulet in the game, but only by a small margin. Yes, it is even more rare than Tal Rasha's, though the why behind this is a whole video topic in and of itself. As far as the stats of this rare amulet go, it's plus one all skills, 18% cold resist, and a little bit of retaliatory damage. It also has a fairly varied amount of poison resist, ranging from 35 to 50%. So basically, it's an okay level 30 requirement, dual resist plus skills amulet, which puts it somewhere between Eye of Etlick and a mediocre rare amulet for your class. So not bad or godly, it's just good for its level, but unfortunately it is harder to find than something better. Now, as far as the full set bonuses, it's another situation of not bad, but not godly. Basically, it comes in with plus two to all skills, some strength and mana, as well as 50% resist all. Not to mention a buggy display of poison damage that has surprisingly not been fixed for almost 20 years. It's actually still a tiny amount, just as long as you have your other poison sources, it just won't display properly, as you can see here. There are a couple of nice things about this set though, as a whole at least. The most obvious one being that it leaves some key slots open, like your weapons, helmet, and rings, which is a good thing that works in the set's advantage, though it does still eat up the amulet and the armor slots, meaning it will preclude a good caster or safety amulet, and it might even prevent you from using your endgame armor choice like Enigma. The other nice thing is actually the way its plus skills work, since they are plus all skills, they will actually impact O skill items, such as call to arms, unlike the class specific plus skills like those on crafted and rare amulets we mentioned earlier. So it can be a good stopgap for pre buffing while you're working your way up to Enigma, that is, if you're lucky enough to find all the elite parts of this almost entirely elite item set. I say almost, since the boots are the only part that is not elite or jewelry. As far as upgrading those boots, just don't do it. Trust me, you won't have a happy time with it, since it will add so little utility and they are almost never used outside of the set itself. So do you think the Disciple is a good mid-tier set, or does it just not pass the cut? And what would you do to make it worth finding all the elite tier set items, or the rarest set amulet in the game? Mention it down below, and as always, a special thanks to all the channel members, patrons, and supporters that make this content possible.